Hey Pisces, how are you doing? This reading is for Pisces for the week of November the 18th to the 24th. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Keep in mind, this is a general read. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. And if you'd like to book a private reading with me, you can do so in the description box below. Click on the link. It will take you to the website and you can check out the options there. Also, a shout out and a thank you for all the ways that you like, share, and subscribe. I couldn't do these readings without all your wonderful support. So thank you so much. I'm so truly grateful. What is going on for the fabulous and most beautiful Pisceans? What do you need to know? What do you need to see for your highest good? Present time, the King of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Energy. What's coming towards you? The Six of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Energy. What you are focused on is the Eight of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Energy. In your blocked and challenged position is the, I was going to call him the father. It is the emperor, major arcana for Aries. Also read that as Scorpio. And your outcome is the five of swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, energy. Okay, Pisces, let's clarify this and find out what is going on. At the bottom of the deck, you do have the Ace of Wands. And the Ace of Wands is a new beginning, new opportunity, new possibility. It is also about creativity, passion, desire, attraction, or you are gaining a lot of attraction, admirers. This is also getting a pat on the back for a job well done. It might be something that you are working on. And this could be any kind of work situation. So apply it where it may apply present time, you have the King of Cups. King of Cups is big love. It is also about paying attention to your intuition, being in the flow, able to respond but not overreacting in any kind of circumstance. So it's a really nice energy. King of Cups can also be kind, caring, devoted, hardworking, loyalty, staying loyal to what it is that you love. This is about paying attention to the detail and putting in quality of work. You also have a really high work ethic and getting out praise. Or this could also be going for a promotion. So getting a raise, getting a promotion, or just being highlighted, spotlight. This could have something to do with work or a love interest. It's going smoothly. What is this guy, King of Cups? And the Ace of Swords, wow, beautiful energy. Straight shooter, forward movement, clarity, truth, victory, triumph, success, staying on task and laser focus. And it is also you know, keeping your eye on the prize, the big picture, catching your lucky break, a breakthrough or break free in some kind of communication. That can also be you cutting out any kind of deceptive behavior or cutting out any kind of deceptive behavior and conversating with another person. If somebody around you, you know, the emperor is all four kings in one. So this could be somebody in a higher level of um, status in work, or this has something to do with, you know, um, an actual father. It could be somebody a little bit rough around the edges or stubborn, very firm, but fair decision. This can also have something to do with law and order. So getting your ducks in a row. Three of wands. Three of wands is about making plans, going forward. And you know, with that three of wands, it's like something you did in the past, it is coming back around to you because this is about your ships coming in or getting on a ship. The card of expansion, blossoming. Let's see what this six of wands is. Just pay attention to the Six of Wands because Six of Wands is my jealousy card. So somebody jealous and envy of what you're doing. Again, there is somebody in the shadow here or in your blocked and challenged position. So, you know, not getting along with somebody higher up. Or there's just a bunch of rules. This is very firm, firm and set in their own ways. A little bit um, crusty, crusty around the edges. What is this Six of Wands? And the Queen of Cups. Wow, that's beautiful energy. So now you have the King and Queen of Cups on the board. This could have something to do with commitment, a relationship, 
a bond, a friendship, a work situation. And I like this energy because the Six of Wands is about hitting some kind of midpoint or milestone in your life and then off to the next exciting adventure. Or there is some kind of telepathy. Like you get this person, this person gets you. That person here could be just as successful as you here. And it's like a lot of conversations happening here. The world, completion, closure, wrapping up some kind of karmic cycle or tying up loose ends, freedom. This can also be travel, travel, relocation or putting yourself on a platform. So promoting yourself or putting yourself online. Something about online. That can also be communication online. And, you know, Queen of Cups is very kind, gentle, soft, caring, loving, supportive energy. And this speaks of attraction, but it also can speak of jealousy. So let's see what this Eight of Pentacles is. Eight of Pentacles is about abundance or, you know, um, something about your finances going up. The arrows. See, it's like pointing up. Go up. Look up, chin up, keep your chin up. And the seven of cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. And you know, the seven of cups is high emotions, mixed feelings, mixed emotions, and scattered energy. So you could be dealing with somebody here Okay, so here, this person could be an attention seeker, or maybe you're the one who's doing more of the work. Seven of Cups is energy scattered all over the place. So make sure that you stay in your body, or this is about procrastination at work, or what you were working on. Or you have a lot of choices and options, again, of where you'd like to take your business and career, or this relationship. You know, five of swords, um, there could be an energy of nitpicking or there is somebody trying to bait or hook you into some kind of fight or argument. Yeah, but mixed feelings, mixed emotions on what you're working on. Or that can also be you have a ton of choices and options. Like don't limit yourself. Ace of Cups. Ace of Cups is a new beginning, new opportunity, new possibility, unconditional love, peace, harmony. And putting yourself on the pedestal. See yourself as a, the cat's meow. You could also be, if you're putting this person on a pedestal, there could also be somebody else put, putting you on a pedestal and they don't know where they stand with you. Or somebody is attracted to you at work and this is like borderline fantasizing, dreaming and visualizing of working with you. Or they want to do something that you are doing right now or you want to do something that somebody else is already doing and you have that capability and potential but here it's the procrastination so don't procrastinate just pick something choose something and grasp onto it work on it in your blocked and challenged position you have this emperor and the emperor is again a ceo uh somebody in a place of authority or a father and this ace of cups is also birthing something new, trying something new, maybe getting a new fur baby. Or it could actually be a baby. What is this emperor about? Seeing the bigger objective, but it's in your blocked and challenged position. So someone's not getting it. And the death card, Major Arcana 4, Scorpio. There's some kind of change, transition, or transformation in some kind of work or collaboration. Or there's some kind of ending to some kind of commitment that you have been committed to. And again, it's like a volcano that's about to erupt. Again, don't overreact. You don't have to. And there is, there's some kind of like mixed feelings. I almost feel like it's a little bit of jealousy going on here. Four of Pentacles. 
Four of Pentacles is my miser. Somebody who's gripping and holding on to a person, place, or a situation. Like they own you. You are a possession. Yeah, this is like a leader, a warrior, somebody in power. Or they think that they have more power over you or something like that. Like I said, this person could be quite crusty um, or rough around the edges. A little bit ruthless and selfish. And here, the five of swords is like cut your losses, lose the battle, and at the end of the day, you will win the war. Nobody, nobody wins in the five of swords. This is also somebody baiting or hooking you into fights and arguments. It's petty arguments. Don't take the bait. Yeah, um, and somebody procrastinates or drags their feet a little bit at work. And that could be very triggering to you. Yeah, it's like a shallow victory or a hollow victory. It's like not considering another person's feelings. This is definitely feelings, feelings. There's some kind of structure coming down here. And this could be in a work situation, something you were committed to. And the world. Wow. Major Arcana for the fixed signs. Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, Leo energy. And then you also have the moon there. Stay calm in the times of uncertainty. But pay attention to your intuition. That can also be ill health, mental health, deceptive behavior, or to do something you've never done before. Everything you want, dream of, and desire is in the unfamiliar territory. So karma here, wrap this cycle up. And if you want to repeat a cycle with this situation, that's up to you. Until you learn the lesson, you will keep repeating the cycle. So right here with this fantasizing, dreaming, and visualizing of something you're doing or working on, the procrastination, don't let it get to you. It's like, okay, I want to start this project. It's like, do it. You have the clarity. You have the truth. you got this big love. And this moon card is also about, you know, take that risk. And you're like, yeah, but I can't see beyond the darkness. I know. But it will come to light. What is this hidden information? Yeah, the Hierophant. A hidden commitment, a hidden situation here. But again, I'm just going back that somebody is hiding a commitment or there is an abuse of power, righteousness, stubbornness. You could be doing something a little bit taboo and unconventional or maybe you have been doing things very conventional until this point and now you kind of want to do something your own way. That's here. It's like you're fantasizing, dreaming of wanting to do something your own way. I would do it. And this is like, don't talk yourself out of putting yourself on a platform or promoting yourself as well. And this is tying up loose ends. Again, um, when your energy feels a little bit all over the place, this is really important to come back into your body. Tie up the loose ends. And let go of anything that or people that are bullying you or trying to like hook or keep you stuck in some kind of karmic cycle. Let's get some of these oracle cards. Ooh, you have spy. Someone's got their eye on you. You are doing your research right there with that sword. And then it says intimacy, sexual chemistry, and what does that say? Reminiscing. Someone is reminiscing when times were good, when times were fun right here, that fantasy. And it could be somebody at work, or this is somebody who is trying to get your attention at work. That can also be this character down here. It's like somebody you're having an issue with. Someone else. Someone else. Someone is in the middle. Someone is trying to sabotage this. So there is somebody in the middle here. Piggy in the middle. Who is 
being a little bit of a piggy. Give it time. Every, every, everything is divine, is in divine timing. Let things flow. Yep, right here. So again, if you fall into that limerence or the fantasy, there's no way I'd ever be the top dog here. You don't know. This person could be doing a little bit of something, something at work. And um, this is coming to an end or it needs to. And here, get completion or closure. I'm just going to get one more card because that's interesting. So somebody is like, again, that jealousy. I'm just getting that jealousy. Or maybe this person wants to work with you and um, they're in a relationship or something. They'll be back. Expect to hear from them soon. They'll be back. Okay. And again, it's going to come back around. Maybe you're starting to increase your finances at work and all of a sudden you're getting a ton of attention. And maybe you're dating somebody who's quite successful or you have a business partner that's quite successful as well. And then all of a sudden this person is like trying to come back into your life. Again, right here, the bully or somebody who's going to try to like bait or hook you back into some kind of karmic recycle. Uh, recycle. Oh, a karmic recycle. Gold digger. They want your money. They want your money being used. Yikes. So pay attention to that person because that person is uh, not your friend, not your friend or not my monkeys, not my circus. Pisces, leave me a comment down below. Let me know how this resonates with you. Like, share, subscribe. And if you want to book a private reading with me, you can do so in the description box below. Click on the link. It will take you to the website and you can check out the options there. Take care, my friends. Bye-bye.